have Winnie. Say good morning, Winnie. Oh, Winnie. Winnie is taking a little walk with us this morning. How are you? She's good. She's quite happy to be telling everyone about our new penguin exhibit, which is opening next Saturday. Excellent. Yes. All right. So, so glad to have you here with us as well, Ms. Thank you. Tell us more about uh, this exhibit. Uh, you all put a lot of time and energy and money into this. We have. We've been building it for about a year. It's pretty cool. If you go to the Maryland Zoo website, you can see the time lapse photo of start to finish how it's, it's, it's looking. And you can, it's pretty cool. Actually, you can see the snow, too, which is fun. Uh, yeah, you can see the snow and how it uh, changed the construction. There it is. There's our amazing pool. Um, and if you remember Rock Island, which I'm sure everyone does, is very, very different. So this is a signature exhibit. This is a really a, just a keystone exhibit of our zoo. It's in the center of the zoo. We are so proud of it. We've worked on a long look, worked on it for a long time. There is a lot going on there. There's a wave feature. There's a dump tank. There's an education center. There is an um, um, embassy outreach center, which is where Winnie lives. So our, our traveling penguins are actually on grounds right there, the Penguin Education Center. You can come learn about penguins. And um, there's one of our keepers cleaning there. But we do have a lot of different ways you can see the penguins underwater. You can stand on a pier and see them. You can, mm -hmm. The kids can be right up next to them, um, which is pretty cool. There's a glass viewing area so the kids can see that outside. And what I love about it is it mm -hmm. is completely accessible. Wheelchairs, strollers, everyone will be able to see a penguin from a lot of different angles. So we're very excited. It opens next Pretty week, much. next Saturday yeah. morning. And here. but we do want to let everyone know that we are closed this week, starting Monday. Okay. We'll be closed through the week so that we can get everything finished and get all the little finishing touches on. Think and it'll be worth the wait. It is definitely worth the wait. It is an amazing exhibit. And we're very, Winnie, very proud of it. Winnie has a mind. Uh, of her own, then she's taking a walk. Are you exploring WBL wedding? What she's do you mean? very comfortable on camera, so she's just, I you see. know, she's like, um, excuse me, I'm over here. She's take a, a look star. over here. Take a look over here. And it has she had breakfast yet? I hear she likes a lot of fish for breakfast. She does like a lot of fish. fish. So Winnie will eat a lot of fish for breakfast. As soon as we get back to the zoo, she will have her breakfast and her vitamins because all of our penguins have vitamins every single day. It's the March of the Penguins right here on WBL. That's right. So come on out next weekend and every weekend after that and see our new exhibit and Will check they get out the to zoo. Pet the penguins at all? We're not going to pet them. Actually, Winnie is a, kind of an anomaly. She is like a dog in a penguin suit. Penguins <laughs> don't typically act like this. They are quite um, crusty little creatures. They're very, very cute. <laughs> However, they can be a little grumpy. They're um, like, territorial and they like to protect themselves because in the wild, people wouldn't normally be coming up to them and just scratching them on the head. So it's this not exactly uh, first nature to them. However, Winnie is a very special penguin. All of our animal ambassador penguins are kind of hardwired uh, to be handled and, and used to humans. So okay. Winnie is very, very special. And every print picture you see for Penguin Coast, which is the name of the new exhibit, Winnie is on. So oh, yes, well, we do have a star, star in here. She's checking she out the back. She is the star. There. That's right. 